William M. Fenton was born in Norwich, Chenango County, New York on December 19, 1808. He graduated from Hamilton College in 1826 at the head of his class. In April 1835, he married a daughter of Judge Birdsall of Norwich and in July settled in Pontiac, Michigan. In 1837, he moved to Genesee County and engaged in mercantile, milling, and real estate transactions in the village of Fenton, which bears his name. In 1842, he was admitted to the bar. In 1844, he was defeated as the Democratic candidate for representative in the state legislature for Genesee County. In 1846, he was elected to the state Senate from the district composing the counties of Genesee, Oakland, Macomb, and Livingston. In 1848 and 1850, he was elected Lieutenant Governor. In 1852, he was appointed by President Pierce, Register of the Land Office in Flint, and held that position until the office was moved to Saginaw. He was the mayor of Flint for one year. During the beginning of the Civil War, he used his influence to sustain the Union. In 1861, knowing the difficulties of a financial nature involved the government, he telegraphed to Governor Blair that $5,000 of his private means were at the disposal of the state for the Michigan troops. Early in 1861, he was commissioned Colonel of the 8th Michigan Infantry. This regiment was raised, equipped, drilled, and left the state on September 27, 1861. On June 16, 1862, his regiment took part in one of the most dashing assaults of the Civil War at James Island, South Carolina. Colonel Fenton led a brigade composed of the 8th Michigan, 7th Connecticut, and 28th Massachusetts regiments. After this, the regiment was in active service at Bull Run, Chantilly, Jackson, Mississippi, Campbell Station, the Battle of the Wilderness, Spotsylvania, Cole Harbor, Weldon Road, and many other places. After two years of incessant service in the field, Colonel Fenton was obliged to resign his command due to his health. On his return home, he was defeated as Democratic candidate for governor and afterwards devoted himself to his profession and to the details of his private business. He was raised as a Master Mason on July the 9th, 1855 in Genesee Lodge, number 23 in Flint. In December 1855, he was elected Senior Warden. In December 1857, he was elected Worshipful Master. In January 1858, he attended Grand Lodge and was elected Most Worshipful Grand Master. He also continued to serve as Master of his Lodge for that and the three succeeding years. He died on November the 12th, 1871.